welcome. Welcome, replayers. Oh, here we are. Let's start the let's start the week together. Ready? <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Welcome if you're replaying or if you want to watch gently in the background and maybe fall back to sleep. Uh, welcome. So welcome. So I've been at the weekend on well Friday. I was enjoying the hop. And I was very inspired by our lovely Anne Lair. Oh, and people coming into the chat live. Oh, Malaya, how lovely. How lovely to see you. I bet you're busy, Malaya. Busy mum. Malaya's always busy. <laughs> oh, lovely to see you, Malaya. And Clint, hi. I joined Clint on his channel live last night. You had some lovely ephemera, Clint. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. We're going to be making some ephemera today. <laughs> so, Yes, so welcome, Clint. And Billy, Kimberly and Beef, here's lovely Freddie. We've already had our walk um, because, of course, it's lunchtime here, but morning for you guys. <laughs> oh, hi, Christy. Christina, welcome. Come on in. Let's start the week together. Let's start the week how we mean to go on by crafting and being together in this lovely community. So good morning. So we've got America in the house. We've got England in the house. So <laughs> nice to see you. And Candy. Ah, oh, Candy, how are you? Let's spend the week in chats together, Candy. <laughs> oh, Jean. Jean, how's your eye healing up? How are you? And um, if you don't write in chat, we understand. or will read it out for you. I do hope you're relaxing and healing, Jean. Deborah, oh, you received your joy tag. How lovely. Oh, and in the quickness, oh, it's Deanie. I'm thinking in the quickness of chat and head. But of course, hot threads is Deanie. Oh, hi, Deanie. Hi. If I've missed you coming in, just um, shout out at me in caps and say <laughs> hi again. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, I'm glad you caught quarters live and in your craft in crafting because of course Sue is in the UK and it's our crafting time isn't it Sue what are you making uh Sue oh so nice to see you and I'm glad the happy mail arrived um Deborah that's really good it's always lovely when things arrive I'll sit back so you can see Freddie because is it about me and the crafting no <laughs> it's all about Freddie. <laughs> it's all about Freddie. Yes, healing. The bubble is almost gone now. Well, I'm pleased to hear it. Pleased to hear it. Um, Deanie, hot threads, you've been doing some um, slow stitching, haven't you? Yes. Oh. Oh, Sue. Sue in the UK. Here for the UK. <laughs> And the USA. <laughs> you're you're doing slow stitching as well. Oh, lovely. We'll stitch together. How wonderful. So as I was saying, there's our Barbara. Oh, Canada's in the house. <laughs> Good morning. Well, Barbara, two inches of snow. Guess what? When we had a barbecue at Ben's yesterday, that's why I missed our lovely Tina's live yesterday. Tina attache papers. I caught up them. I watched the replay, Tina. Um, we were at Ben's for barbecue. The boys were in t-shirts. This morning, I opened the curtains, and there were large flakes of snow. And I had my hat, and my gloves on when we went for a walk. 
unlike Canada, it didn't settle though. <laughs> oh, wrap up nice and warm and cozy, Barbara. Or maybe stay in and craft with us. <laughs> oh, so there's our Anne coming in. Good morning, Anne Lair. Well, I have. I had a, a lot of projects on the go, but when Anne Lair decided to do faux postage stamps, I I was on Saturday. I I listened to the replay in the morning because Anne came on while I was in bed, and we were, I was walking Freddie, and I thought, oh, what should I do when I get home? And I thought, gee, you know, I'm just going to have to make some faux stamps because I love postage stamps. <laughs> So, I've got this, these are made out of paper. So, I've got this, I'm lucky enough to have this part that punches out the stamps, but you can use scissors, that's no problem. And then I sat there and joyously made some paper stamps. And this is book, the numbers are from book pages. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. And I, Popping them in my Happy Mail folders that I, um, pockets that I made during the hop. So I made a few of those and then I got to my slow stitching and I thought, do you know, I think I might make some fabric, fabric faux stamps. Yay! <laughs> so I did. So you kept me occupied <laughs> this weekend, Anne. If you say something like buttons or postage stamps, oh, dear, I'm all on it. <laughs> oh, Melissa, how are you? Come on in. Oh, nice to see you. You glue booking today. So let me put these a little bit closer. <laughs> so it's just a case of you can use up all your old scraps. And I had some material that had some postage marks on them. And, and then I had, I found, you know, on the side of fabric where you get the patterns, I found that on one of them I had some numbers. And I thought, ooh, that's handy. Ah, oh, Clint's saying that you... You subscribe to Jean. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, I can't get it to show, Clint. I don't know why. Is it showing now? Oh, thank you, Clint. That's really lovely. Jean does some lovely videos. Oh, and oh, thank you. Someone else handled that for me. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, and and Anne's been making pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I find the hops so, so inspiring. It's wonderful, isn't it? We're all inspiring one another. <laughs> oh, 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 Janice. Oh, good morning. Oh, Janice. Poppy. I'm so glad that I actually saw you. I, I don't like that when I get to the end of the stream and then I realise I've missed you. <laughs> Good morning, Janice. I'm so glad that you're starting the week with us as you're getting ready for work this morning. Oh, <laughs> no problem, says Clint to Jean. So I noticed on the fabric, the sides of the fabric, I had some numbers. So they make that 2p. <laughs> that little stamp is worth 2p. <laughs> and then I I also had this tape measure ribbon. So you might be able to find fabric ribbon in quite a few places. Uh, or you could stamp the numbers on or write the numbers on. Good morning, Becky. Oh, is it still spring break for you, Becky, that you're with us and not? Getting the family ready. <laughs> it's nice to see you in the, in the live chat. Oh, how lovely. I'm making faux postage stamps. <laughs> and 
I so I then ran out of the fabric that already had that on. So let me put that there. So I I've got a stamp. Very fortunate to have a stamp, and that's got lovely postmarks on. Anne had carved the wibbly lines where they where they stamp it. I got a frank it. I'm, I'm not quite sure what Anne did say a word, and it made a lot of sense. <laughs> I've forgotten what that word was. Oh, is that Roy in the house? Oh, yes, it's pre-snack time. Or are you pre? A cup of morning tea. I know it's a busy morning for our lovely Roy. Do nip over to Roy's channel. He has another slow. Oh, I'll, I'll link it later when um, the video goes live uh, for the replays. And Roy's doing another slow stitch project for us. A nice little short one, isn't it? Roy's quickie. And I won't spoil it. It's very funny. I it felt I felt like saying, make me a video, Roy, and make it snappy. You'll understand. You'll understand when you watch it. Absolutely fab. I shared it in um Beth's group this morning. So you can go straight on to your stamps and frank them is that the word straight on with those little wibbly wood lines like that faux postage stamps roy <laughs> stamps and fabric <laughs> all together oh the children are going back to school today in about an hour oh can you imagine becky's some um, Becky's household at the moment, it's probably slightly hectic, isn't it? <laughs> You're trying to... <laughs> You've got us on in the background. You'll be able to sit and take a deep breath and get yourself a warm beverage once they're all sorted out. Oh, dear, that takes me back. <laughs> oh. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly lines. Is that Janice? Is that so British? Candy, you shared with me this very funny video, didn't you? I think it's in England versus America, or was that? And it's this couple, and they're talking to one another, and and it's all the different different sayings. You know, put the baby in the crib and. And he's saying, no, he in the cot. And that, yeah, it's very funny, Candy. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, am I missing anybody? <laughs> Don't let me miss anybody. So then you just cut out the postmark. And then you can just sew that on. So by doing this, you can, oh, you can use up little Tiny, I know you love it. Don't, don't need to throw any fabric away because you can use the tiny bit to make these stamps. And I'm going to put the postmark just coming off there because it's usually, and then I cut it into shape. So I can sew that on while we're chatting. Do I see our lovely Cheryl coming in there? <laughs> Good morning, Cheryl. Oh, and Ben. Good morning. Ben says he usually comes in and I just ignore him. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Clint. Um, ben, my son. <laughs> He's sitting working at his computer and he got me in the background. Freddie says hi. <laughs> We had a lovely barbecue at Ben's yesterday. And Ben, did you see the snow this morning? Um, our Barbara in Canada, Ben, has two inches of snow this morning. <laughs> oh, dear. There. Yes, yeah, so do nip over to Roy's channel and 
see his latest little project. I'm going to have a little gut out. I really will. I think it, you could you could say it's a weaving project, couldn't you, um, Roy? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's great, isn't it? It's great, Roy. All these all these guys, yeah, <laughs> in the chat. Val, good morning. And I think if you were if you were making because I did say I said to Violet that I was going to make a fabric postcard and I didn't. So you could stick that, sew that one straight on a faux postcard. So I think I might leave that one cut, but the others I leave like that. I cut out. And this one, yes, this one needs a number. So shall I put one of these numbers from the side of the fabric on? It is all quite dinky and delicate, this work. Where shall I put that? Up in the corner. 5p or 5 cents. This stamp is worth 5 cents. <laughs> oh, journey. Oh, journey. Shall I'm making faux postage stamps. I am going to show you. Um, I'm just going to do this, journey, and I'm going to show your wonderful happy mail that you sent me. Journey sent me a snippet roll. Isn't it wonderful? I love the way everybody's snippet rolls because we've all got different snippets. They're all so different. And um, I've got a little bit of it here showing already. It's a lovely narrow snippet roll. I think all snippet rolls are lovely. I think the thing with this slow stitching is that there is no right or no wrong. Thank you, Journey. And I, I did the great, I was saying the other day about something else I received, the greatest compliment when you receive happy mail is, gosh, you open it and you you start using it straight away. Sometimes I've done that and I think, oh, I haven't taken a picture to put in the Facebook groups. Goodness me, naughty me. I, yeah, I started snipping it and using it straight away. Now, some of you might have a die cut that could die cut the fabric into stamp shapes. Cheryl's got her coffee. <laughs> Cheryl's sitting back and relaxing like Freddie, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh. And it came on the most gorgeous little wooden bobbin. And I would show you that, but I have, I'm going to be honest with you, I've temporarily put it somewhere safe. But I, it will turn up. <laughs> I, I'm just using my show you. Little. Hi. Now, Cal, everybody, welcome Cal into the chat. I've, I've been chatting with Cal in the comments after videos. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe this is the first time You've been into chat. Cal will probably say, no, I came last week, Janet. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Cal. Nice to see you. Yes, you're new into the chat. Cal started, you were talking about this, weren't you? The little pin cushion, Cal. Yes, lovely. Welcome. You don't usually, you're not usually able to catch us live, are you? Ah, oh, how lovely. Cal, just in time, just to see, I've been making faux postage stamps. There's nothing, it's not really rocket science, it's just using little snippets of paper and putting little postage marks on and some little numbers. It's not rocket science. <laughs> I'm going to sew one in my fabric journal but i'm also i'm also going to which one shall i choose for my fabric journal and the rest will just go in happy mail it's nice to have things 
Um, sewn up, ready for happy mail. There's our Gail. I was just, before we go on, gently in that ground, because I'm getting myself ready for the stream, I was listening to a, a lovely Gail Tuttle's video. She's just posted up a video, and it's she was making clusters. So lovely. You can do, just before I put these away, you could do some little embroidery sli stitches or slow stitches on them. I made a little flower with the chain stitch. Hmm. Please post a picture later, Janet. Can't see it here, please. Yes, yeah, yeah. I've moved further along so the light's coming in at the window because I noticed on Friday I was quite dark. They are dingy, aren't they? And as I take it up to the camera, they don't quite work. So, of course, Cheryl, I will post a picture. Oh, cow! Always a warm welcome in this community. There's lots of people here, Cal, that stream, and you will always receive a wonderful, warm welcome. Choose one. That's it. Anyone. Choose anyone. And I'm going to stitch that in. So there's my faux postage stamps. Mary was saying, wouldn't it be nice to make a sheet of stamps? So this was my sheet of stamps. <laughs> there we are. Oh, do you know, if we scan them in, we could get Ben to make a PDF and you could cut them out. Is that something that would be helpful? <laughs> oh, Gail's going to be trying more stitches on embroidery fabric. If you do the chain stitch, the five petal flower is quite... I, I do... As you'll see in this, I, I don't do many stitches. I just relax and yeah, it's nice. There's our Janet USA <laughs> coming into the house. <laughs> Come on in, pull yourself up a seat. That would be lovely, says Janet. Oh, lovely. Okay, I'll just put PDF here. I popped a PDF in the fifth spell of that last. I don't know where I've put it now. There is another, there's two in Fibsville now. Journey says a PDF would be lovely. I could do a mix of the fabric and the, uh, yes, great. Uh, fabric and the paper ones will do. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> so last week I showed you, <laughs> I showed you my fabric journal and I said, I, I hadn't sewn it together. I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, I've never made a fabric journal before. And it's all changed, all changed, all changed from last week because I don't think our wonderful Teresa is in here yet. That, well, that's going to be the cover. That was from our lovely Laura. The, uh, what would you call this? The tray cloth? and Sophia and Deborah Brown, the pin. And while we're just looking at this lovely piece of embroidery, vintage embroidery that a wonderful Laura sent to me in Happy Mail, and I've been saving it by. I'd like to, I've got lovely little rainbow here, and that's to remind remind me and remind us to just keep our wonderful Laura in our hearts to send up prayers whatever you do light a little candle or what whatever you do for our wonderful Laura she's had Laura is having her last surgery today her last oral surgery so we're sending Laura all our love and best wishes such an important part of our community and life sending our love to you and here comes Joyce happy joy yo-yos 
Hi, Joycey. Come on in. Oh, Janice. There we are. There's the link to Anne's faux stamps. Wonderful. If you don't want to make them out of fabric, you can make them out of paper. I I challenge you <laughs> to resist making those. <laughs> I just couldn't resist it. Couldn't resist it. So and there's my lavender bag on there. So our lovely Teresa, Sister Spitfire, sent me this amazing 1970s fabric. So my whole book had to change because it was small like this. So I had to open up the pages and make it big. I got no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm just winging it. But look, isn't that gorgeous 70s fabric? And I've done my first bit of quilting. I've got the batting and I've sewn down here I on the machine. I sewed around the heart and all the squares. I love anything 70s. It just brings back amazing memories for me. I forgot to slow stitch around the um, machine stitch around the house, but I'm probably going to do more on it. Janice. I love it. I'm I pretty too. Yeah, me too. Oh, Janet. <laughs> Teresa's probably um getting hubby breakfast and starting a day. Gail says, I know, I'm a 70s girl too. Reminds me of my holly hobby bag and um and the doll, and it was all patchwork, wasn't it? In the in the 70s and this piece of material is 70s too and that came from my swap from Colleen and Kathy and Colleen so I wonder if there's someone in the chat who took part in that swap and sent that it's hard to know again it's just going to be a community fabric channel so then I was left with this big sheet so what I've done is taken one of the strips down here and made a hinge. Now, Harvest Gold. It's called Harvest Gold. How lovely. Mm, orange was big in the 70s. Oh, orange and green. My my parents painted whole walls orange. Yes, and, and Harvest Gold. I presume that's that mustardy colour, yeah. Holly B. Yeah. I had a cloth doll. Beautiful. Oh, Kimberly's still got her holly hobby. Oh, do you, oh, you love her. Kimberly, could I ask you to put a picture of her? I remember mine having a blue dress. Uh, could you put a picture of her? We communicate on Twitter, don't we, Kimberly? And I can always take a screenshot and show the other girls. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Don't go by me, but this is how I'm, so I've stitched two pages together with this, and I presume then that's going to become like a book, and eventually it will get sewn together. I don't know. <laughs> avocado, green avocado. I know, an avocado bathroom suit, Jean. <laughs> there wasn't much difference between England and America, really. We had the same ideas, didn't we? Oh, okay. Oh, Candy. <laughs> Candy and Janice is sorting out the technical issues. Yes, she will. She hangs out in, oh, she hangs out with you in your craft room. Oh, she must be really helpful. Just like, just like Flo. Flo is really helpful. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Mo. <laughs> so, without further ado, let me show you. This is the snippet roll from Journey. Now, on the back, it's vintage dyed cotton, and it's hand. Um, Machine sewn, and it's got lace, machine sewn. And then Journey comes in 
and hand stitch, slow stitches, fabrics and bits and pieces on. And seriously, I got the this from Teresa and Journey and wow, I, I, whew, I was busy, busy. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, good morning to Janet. You can stay. You can't stay. Oh, yes. It's a busy day for you, Angie. Angie, I'm glad you stopped by. And, oh, so lovely to see you. There we are. And here is lovely journey. Can you see this? And there was a little piece. And I thought, ooh, that'll make a nice tab. So with a snippet roll, I, yes, I didn't pet it and save it. I just snipped it and used it. <laughs> oh, fantastic compliment to you, <laughs> dear journey. Thank you. You're feeling better after your injection. Oh, I'm glad because you don't want to be going and cleaning. You're feeling better. Oh, that's so good. What a lovely little flower from Angie for us. I'm glad you can start your week with us. Start your week with your crafting community, Angie. And if we don't see you here later, we will see you in other chats. Yes, we'll see you throughout the week. But you'll be staying for a little while. Yes. There we are, look, some beads and pearls, vintage lace, and some slow stitching here, some little crosses. And, ah, oh, a little heart, a little cloth heart. Beautiful, beautiful. More slow stitching. So thank you, Journey. Oh, I, I machine stitched that onto the side of my page, thank you. Oh, you're off, Angie, take good care and thank you for popping in. We're all sending you off with our love. <laughs> and then I sewed in my Auntie Jennifer's pineapple pattern. And I'm thinking it might be quite nice to make make like a little pineapple here <laughs> that was just a thought i had and oh yes i did another page now this is the beauty of slow stitching is as opposed to embroidery it's, it's like fabric collage and it's i you you don't it doesn't have to be perfect it can be wonky and yes I, I, what I like about it is I just had my kit next to me and I just slow stitch when I was on one of my zoom calls with my craft group on Saturday my local craft group and uh, really this isn't something probably that I want to hold up in front of someone I love it but it's not what I call a work of art. It's just something I did while I was relaxing and I will put other stitches on it. So I've added a milk bottle top there. <laughs> these hearts, one, two, these were from our very own Arlene that comes in and sending our love to Arlene. We know that you're resting and at the moment get to the the computer but most of the time we've been remembering you and enjoy chatting with you, you can get into the chat i need a toucan in your book yes toucan yeah instead of a pineapple shall i do that I'll snip it toucan mm -hmm. right. <laughs> janice <laughs> she's always so right <laughs> Oh, as Laura calls you, her Yoda. So literally, this is so random. And I I think this is slow stitching. It, it, it's just, well, there is no right or wrong in slow, slow stitching. Oh, do the pineapple too. Okay, will do. <laughs> I will, I will. Mm. 
Oh, you post a picture of your slow stitching. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yes, Cheryl, you've been enjoying doing that. I know you had some supplies sent. Yes, so literally, I think this piece shows people that please just stitch on a button, stitch on a piece of fabric that you like. You can do some uh, just running stitches or blanket stitches or any stitches you know how to do. If you've got a little piece of rick rack, that's right. No right or wrong, says Janice. Did I see your mandala? No. Let me write that down. Janice's mandala. I saw your wonderful elephant mandala. What group did you post it? Putting fibs in brackets because I'm presuming you posted it in Fibsville. Christina, we have Australia. Oh, fantastic. This really is a worldwide community. And I know Christina has a channel. And you've been doing some slow stitching, haven't you? You're up late waiting for your daughter to get, oh, waiting for your daughter to get home. Oh, in Australia. It's yeah, really late. Oh, let's keep let's keep Christina company. Yeah, yeah, we've all been there. It's a worry, isn't it? Oh, we'll keep you company. Oh. So yeah, this is just a piece of slow stitching that I did. No right or wrong. And I will be putting some more bits on there and stitching that in there. And of course, I put a little heart, another little heart there too. <laughs> so today I thought it's great. I love this. We've got I've got some ideas from you. Lovely. And I might make those with you next week, the toucan or the pineapple. Who knows what happens in a week? Because we watch each other's channels and we're just inspired all the time. Oh, there's Carol. You're watching and stitching in the background. Fantastic. Carol is, Carol with Spring Golden saying a blanket hello. She's busy. <laughs> this was from my niece, Katie, Happy Mail. I showed it a while back, but now I have my slow stitch journal. I'm going to start to use these buttons. These vintage buttons are very, very precious because these come, if Ben's, is, if Ben's still in the room, he might not be. He might have gone on to other, other channels and just popped by. These buttons are from Nana Nash's button tin. Katie's got her sewing box, which is so wonderful. And she shared these buttons with me. and. I'm, I saved them because I wanted them to go in my, in my, my slow stitch journal as a lovely memory. There's a lovely Donna Matei. Oh, Donna. Hi. Donna, you're coming into chat. Oh, bless you. If you remember our wonderful Donna, maybe the Japanese journal that we've we've been enjoying doing that on stream. I will be doing that again at some point on stream too. Thank you for the journal, Donna. And to ask you, you're in the grandstand, Donna's in the grandstand. You've got to figure out. Donna's head is healing, but taking quite a while. John has been had suffered from a head injury, and it does it does take time. And you've been having headaches, and so it's not easy to write in the chat. I'm so glad that you're here with us today. It's really lovely, really lovely to see you, and I do hope that you're gradually, gradually healing, Donna. Really nice to see you. Oh, Janice says hi, Donna. Joe says hi, T. 
to you, Donna, if you can't see the chat. Oh, don't you, you and Cheryl said hi. Oh, look at that. Yeah, never any pressure. I know from personal experience that it takes quite a lot of energy to um, come into the chat. Yeah. Oh. Don't worry, I will post pictures of um of your holly hobby so everybody can see her, Kimberly. <laughs> Should I post it in Beth's group? Oh. Oh, thank you, Cheryl dear. <laughs> oh, that's really lovely. <laughs> oh. Is it Oh, no, I'm not going to ask you how late it is. Maybe I'm going to ask you, Christina, um, what's on your craft desk this week? And has it stopped raining? Because our love, Christina, lives quite near the rainforest, so it's quite often raining. Maybe it rains all year round. You are. I realise that this mirror button, I have to find something... It hasn't got holes in it. It's sat in a button. I remember Nana wearing that top. If you're there, Ben, do you remember Nana wearing that top with the B, B for Birkitex on? <laughs> oh. So this is very, very precious. Oh, Violet, how are you? Come on in. <laughs> welcome oh violet i i did say i was going to make um after you showed me journey's fabric postcard i did say i was going to make um fabric postcards no i got distracted and challenged me <laughs> and i started to make faux fabric stamps instead <laughs> Oh dear. It's like we get on a rabbit trail, don't we? Oh, look at all the waves and flowers. What's, what's your plans this week, Violet? I know you have been making the dishcloths with cotton. Now you're on a roll with those. <laughs> oh, really nice to see you. Really nice. There. So, oh, as it happens, there's just five buttons to sew on, and that's really lovely. Violet, if you've just come in, these, um, oh, Christina says the rain's finally stopped because she lives in the rainforest. A bit cooler now. You're making a journal for your mum. Oh, I remember you, yes, you shared that, didn't you? Yes. Oh, and you, you were making a fabric journal and managed to incorporate some of your mum's embroidery in your slow stitch journal, didn't you? Correct me if I'm wrong. I, do you know, I've forgotten what I, I've forgotten what I'm saying. I don't like to miss the chat, so I interrupt myself. <laughs> Good morning, Laurie. Here's someone else that changed us on Friday at the hop our lovely Laurie challenged us to paint eyes or draw eyes and she did say at the end and I'm glad she did she said but some people find um creating eyes very intimidating and I said oh yeah that's me mm, I do Violet says and stamps were inspiring. I know. Um, oh, Violet's finished a full skein. Oh, how wonderful. Three ones, Violet. Flora's video back. I had to watch it on the replay. And and you said um, I challenge you, Janet. Do have a go at doing some eyes and do show me. So I said, okay, Laurie, I will. Because it's a confidence thing. 
And you've got to realise that some people do magnificent eyes, but they've been doing it for years. Oh, you're buffering. Uh oh. You're buffering. Oh. Um, I think okay here. Violet, I can't see the line going across. I'm just going to roll that journal. Oh, I didn't sew in a. I was going to sew in one of my fabric stamps, wasn't I? Where shall I sew it? Shall I sew it on here? It's very busy. Where shall I sew it? I haven't got many pages. I just have to sew it there, but I will pin it. Oh, Donna says you're buffering. Oh, maybe it's me. Uh-oh. Is it me that's buffering? Oh, you lowered your speed and it stopped, says Kimberly. Oh, okay. So it's nothing that I have to do. So just if you've just come back in, I put one of my fabric stamps on, on here and I will sew that on later. So that's my fabric journal and huge, huge thanks to Journey for my one. I didn't see it. You've just come in, Donna and Donna and Violet. My wonderful snippet roll from from Journey. Absolutely wonderful. I'm wondering whether I might even put Journey's name on there as well. <laughs> oh, Laurie's just gone down to 7.20. Is it something I, I'm doing or is it something I can do here or ask Ben to do at a later date? So, yeah, oh, I'm rolling it now so it doesn't get creased. Thanks. <laughs> Got a whole sheet of fabric stamps inspired by our wonderful our wonderful some are, some aren't done yet some I haven't sewn their numbers on I will take some pictures of those later and post them up so you can see them you Janice says she thinks it's just the general internet okay okay righty ho righty ho <laughs> oh, good morning, Aunt Bex. Oh, nice to see you. I, we were just saying how inspired we we. Oh, and um, Aunt Bex did this wonderful used a colouring sheet and did it as a pattern and to cut out with printy papers. I, as you said at the end of your your video. Your live art Bex. It would be wonderful for a slow stitch project. I'm definitely going to be doing that. <laughs> oh, art Bex, for all your inspiration and to all the other hoppers and all the people that came into chats and and of course, thank you to our wonderful, wonderful Mary. <laughs> This journal's been going since January, but because we had a little bit of snow today, I still think my journal needs a jacket on. <laughs> oh, Janice has to go. You're off to work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you'll dial back in. That's lovely. And you'll be in the background. We'll keep you company while you work. Oh, I'm glad you could join us here for this to start your day. Bye, Janice. Bye. Everybody's saying goodbye. <laughs> this was done. We did that swap. I'm still using this one. And Anne, Anne Lair made the cover. <laughs> it's wonderful. Scott is on days this week. This morning was a struggle. Oh, my Lord. Yes, yes. Well, it's still that extra, the hour that you've missed there. I know. What was I going to show you today? Oh, look, lovely Mina, Mina Parish, a wonderful Easter card. Isn't that lovely? Thank you, Mina. And it's going to go into my into my 
my journal here. Thank you. And Mina had also made me this wonderful little cluster in. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I can see someone saying good morning to Nettie, and I didn't see you come in, Nettie. Oh, there you are, under oh, un, under Aunt Bex. There, good morning, Nettie. Oh, lovely. Are you planning to join Beth tomorrow on her live? And Clint too. Are you planning to join lovely Beth? That was wonderful last week. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful dimensions, and it's got a heart. Ah, oh, wishing you a blessed Easter. And Mina Parish, and she's dated it. And that is wonderful. Thank you. So I'm going to put this in my journal right now. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's so shiny. So shiny. It's got so many different types of glitter on it and glitter around the edge. If you can just see the shininess of that, I know. And sometimes it's not what I'm making. You can be inspired by all this one, the, the happy man, what other people are making. And I love it. I'm going to use the fabric tag and it. So this is my 2021 journal. And I'm just going to, I don't have one last the last the week, the month. <laughs> You're shy, but if Beth wants, you will. You'll do almost anything for Beth. Oh, Nettie, if you feel able to. It would be lovely, but no pressure, no pressure. I think it's because I think it's lovely. And you can share your art as well. It's, I mean, because if I come in, well, it's fine, but you see me and what I do. But to actually see on screen some of your art and not just in a photograph. I'm there, Sue. Oh, good morning, Sue. Oh, how are you? Are you doing some journaling? Did I hear you in a chat? I might have this completely wrong. Were you making a junk journal, Suze? Suze's uh, jer <laughs> journeys have getting you a coffee, Suze. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I'm making a little pocket from the card. And I'm going to stick these hearts back on. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to, I've just made a, like a little pocket from the card. How lovely. Thank you, Mina. Very, very much. It's not easy sending post. Oh, now if I do that pocket, oh, look. But it doesn't, it will bend it. Right, okay. So, oh, I'm going to have to make a bed band for that to go in. Right, okay. Let's cut this here and make it into a belly band. You probably spotted that deliberate mistake, didn't you? What am I like? Make a belly band. Will all that fit in then? Or will it fit in if I make up a pocket? Or oh, I make a little pocket like that. Yes. <laughs> what am I like? Oh dear, Deborah Adams, what am I like? <laughs> oh, Nettie says she's afraid. I tell you, I I love Beth, but I wouldn't skydive for Beth. No. I can't think of anything worse. Oh, I'm so I, I can't do heights. I didn't even want to get on a horse when I was a little girl because it was so high up. Oh, no. I just don't do heights. No. I'm with you there. We'll do anything for Beth, but we won't skydive. It it makes going on um a live seem doable, doesn't it? No pressure, though, Nettie. Oh. 
There we are, made a little pocket instead. Super. Come and create that page, probably, but that's there. How lovely. Thank you, Mina. Really lovely. Really, really lovely. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you. Laurie, paint girl, are you still there? Because I received the rice paper that lovely Laurie um, sent me. I was in a chat and I said to her, oh, I haven't seen rice paper before. It was, is it like a napkin? And she said she'd send me some. I thought, oh, no, you don't have to send any. <laughs> um, yeah, Deanie says she can't even stand on a chair. <laughs> I know, I know. Not even if there was a mouse in the house, Deanie. Look at this wonderful rice paper that Laurie, Laurie might have gone. She have not gone, but I have thanked her. Look at this. And because it's quite transparent, if you put it with the book pages behind it, it's going to be it's going to be fab. So I'm actually just I'm going to just use it. Anybody else use rice paper before? And then we can see how it works. Mm. I know, Bonnie. I am. So, so lucky, so lucky. Bonnie, have I said good morning to you yet? I'm not sure I have. Good morning, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, Bonnie and I have been chatting away, haven't we? We've been, I've been recommending some slow stitch videos, recommending our wonderful Lizzie. Oh, Bonnie, I've been making slow stitch postage stamps. <laughs> oh. Now, where's our lovely, lovely Gail today? Our lovely Gail Anne. Where is she today? Because when I think of Lizzie, I think of our lovely Gail Anne. If all is well, our lovely Lizzie might be going live to this evening at 7 central time, Bonnie, with some slow stitching. I'm just putting some glue on and I'm going to put the paper. Look at that, it's a heart with forget me nots. Oh, how wonderful is that? How wonderful. Lovely. And I'm not quite sure whether you can see because I've got you've got the shine, but especially there, you can just see the book page from underneath coming through. I'm loving that. Somebody asked me who was it? If I wouldn't mind going over how I made the ATC holder again and I said oh yes I will and I noticed the other day Janet US made one for Mary and she was showing her zines fab absolutely fab so let's see when I start to fold paper I'm I get to I always get in a muzzle don't I <laughs> but let me see I'll pop these somewhere safe. And we might be able to use some later. So it's just a case of making one of these pockets and your little ATC, let's get the card here, goes inside like that. You can use a baseball card um holder as well you don't have to make your own ah oh okay jean jean's telling us easy ways oh that's that's to do a thumbs up thank you jean and there's tammy oh hi tammy how are you come on nice to see you welcome to monday mornings oh 
We love our Monday mornings catching up and chatting. I thought down here that I've got some painting papers ready. Ah, oh, I have. I have got some painting paper stuck together. Oh, of course. I was using like bits of paper yesterday because I was making envelopes. <laughs> there we are. So let's see if I can show you how to make this little folder. We're going to make one of these. Oh, and this, this was a cereal box or card. Let me tell you how big this is because someone was literally asking me to do a demo. It is five inches or thereabouts by three and a half inches. And it's got, it. the spine's just over an inch. I'll just pop that back up there. And this was a, a little mini cereal box that we have when we go on holiday. But you can use any card. And then I put um, book paper and painty paper on it. I have some of these made up ready. So, put your paper in half, and let's see how wrong wrong I can get it. <laughs> Fold your paper in half, and then this way. I've got one to take apart here, so so there's that. Let's see. Let's see. I'm taking it apart because I always right. Okay. So then fold it to the middle here. So you've got that folded there and fold that to the middle. I tried it yesterday and I thought, oh, everyone's a winner. Every time I don't know how to do it. What am I like? So that's that. And then let's try and fold it like that. It's easy once you get it. And then, gosh, do you know, let's see if we can fold it like this. And I'll see if I can. I remember when I demonstrated it last time, I think I sat over there on the dining room table and we had to do it quite a few times. You went on Amazon. Ooh rabbit trap oh Cheryl what were you looking at mm. Roy's gonna be back in 15 minutes okay Roy yeah Roy Roy is preparing for the shopping to be delivered empty empties the fridge and all those sort of jobs right so and then you turn it over like this is this as clear as mud and then you fold it in like this, as clear as mud, so it looks like. And then, oh, what were you looking? Did you say, Cheryl, what you were looking for? Oh, we like to know what people are shopping for, don't we? Then you fold it over like that. And then you fold it over and then you've got the little pocket there, little pocket there and there and there. Is anybody, let me just, so you've got it folded into one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then you fold these over. And then you fold it in like so. And then like this. And then fold it like that. And then you just get some elastic. And you can thread yours with beads if you want to. I've put some beads on mine. And then tie it up. Like so. 
is this elastic not quite long enough? This might not be quite long enough. I might have to find some more. I've got another piece there. But I'm not going to tie this up now because I'm going to search for some beads for later and, and finish that off. But that's a little demo of how I folded, how I fold. Oh, that's dried already. How I fold my ATC holders. And they would make nice little pockets for Happy Mail too, if you wanted to. <laughs> Oh, right, so I'm going to put that in there. And it's probably time for us to have snack. Kimberly, it's snack time. <laughs> Let's get a snack, shall we? Ooh, look at that, Cheryl. He's thinking, oh, Christina. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Christina. Says that's neat. If you want me to go over it again, I always will, Christine. Oh, now, where the book ends is, is Sue's. We have two Sue's in the house. We have Sue's, who lost the Japanese stitching with two Z's, and we've got where the book ends meet Sue's with one Z. Good morning and welcome, Sue's. Come on in, Sue's. You're just in time for snack time. <laughs> Nettie, thank you. This is Freddie, Nettie. <laughs> Freddie likes this time of the day, doesn't he, Cheryl? <laughs> Do you know, I haven't done any baking. No baking, no cake today. Can you imagine? I'm, I'm hoping tomorrow to make... um. A tea loaf, and that will probably last until next week. <laughs> Freddie heard the word snack, and he's already licking his lips. Oh, he's whining a bit as well. <laughs> he did, he know he did. <laughs> oh, midnight time. Oh, Christina. Christina's, we're keeping Christina company over in Australia because it's midnight there while she waits for her daughter to come home. Oh, dear. I don't know. We'll keep you company. It's a worry. There's a couple of little rich tea fingers. Do you get to that stage where the cupboard's bare and you need to start baking again or, or shopping? Here you go, Freddie. That's from Cheryl. Ooh, thanks, Cheryl, he said. <laughs> Thank you, we're keeping you company. Well, you can make notes as well of all the things that you would like to like to make. And yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, Jean's there. Jean's been with us all this time. She's um being disciplined in not using her eye too much and straining it. Um, Jean's on her second cup of coffee <laughs> for snack. Oh, you're very sleepy. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> Kimberly says her dog is smarter than a fourth grader. <laughs> mm. 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 Journey. Well, mm, he doesn't trust us. He thinks we might get his snack. <laughs> he takes it to another room. <laughs> takes it next door. Mm. Yes, Cheryl's getting her coffee. Mm. <laughs> mm. He knows the timing and rhythm of this stream. And later on, when it gets to nearly three, he knows it's it's. It's in it at the four, I mean, here, four. He knows it's time to finish, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Our oh, Bex is getting packages ready to go to Nettie and Joycey. Oh, how lovely. Oh, Jean says she woke up at 40 a.m., so we'll probably Joycey. Oh, how lovely. Oh, Jean says she woke up at 4.30 a.m., so we'll probably take a nap after Janet's live or just fall asleep during this one. Mm. 
Use me to fall asleep to, definitely. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, very nice. I'll put that over there. And um, mm. I know it's very early for you, but oh, something else to show you. At the hop. Now you'll have to remind me. You can come and sitting here with us come on he says i've had my snack now i'm off i'm off to go and see what's happening in the front of the house ready come and sit with us darling come on come on darling that's it he's sniffing around now saying no there aren't any more ready no <laughs> come on come and sit right up there no, he doesn't want to, so that's fine. Clint's back. Oh, hi, Clint. Yes, you've been there all the time and you've been busy. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you're going to go to the post office now. You may get back before. You you, you stay safe, um, Bex? Yes. That'll be a good job job, won't it? Mm. Thank you for popping in. To say hi to all the lovely, all, all these lovely fibs. <laughs> now, Shelley at the hop, did anybody see Shelley? And she was making, what did she call it? What did she call it? Anne, can you remember what Shelley called, what she did? Um, some form of, it wasn't a journal, she called it something else. So anyway, I, I, Jean, if you can see, if you can open your eyes, Jean Bainey, <laughs> this, you'll recognise this wallpaper. It's not from the Chateau Diaries. It's from, um, oh, what's that programme? Um, Escape to the Chateau. This is, this is digital, the digitals of, Vintage wallpaper, French chateau. And the designer was, what's that called? Uh, Angel. The designer's name is Angel. <laughs> and I've got some of her, I sent off some of the wallpaper and I've got it upstairs in the hallway. But I have little snippets left and I like to use them. But she used book journals, didn't she? I didn't have any book jacket so I use some wallpaper it's a case of use what you've got but it was a way of you don't staple it together you just tie it and then you can share your supplies supply style journal I do you know I think that's literally what she called it Joycey yes mm, thank you mm. it was like a flourish journal you're right and so I thought I've made two, but I've made one, and they're fairly light and flat, so not because of, um, we'll put it in the drawer later. But so I've just got some vintage bits and pieces of paper. I've got some Danish vintage writing paper, some pattern paper, and map vintage maps, and a little bit of fabric. And this is Sophia fabric. <laughs> And vintage craft magazine. That's not vintage fabric, but that's some Sophia. And this is wonderful paper, and I use it and share it. And this, my nephew bought me this from a wonderful bookmaking shop in Oxford. There's the middle. So it's just some washi and some other bits of painty paper and dictionary paper. So it's the same. So I made, that's the other thing. I couldn't wait to make one of those just to get all the your papers out and fold them up and then pop some. I thought, ooh, <laughs> it was fun. It's made to give us a gift. You're right, Joyce. It's made to share. So I will share that. 
later. I will, we will, I've made an envelope yesterday. That's how I got all painty. So we're going to send this off later when we do our drawing. <laughs> I love making envelopes. Usually I do sticking, but I did some, did some painting last night. <laughs> Why not? Shall we do one of our challenges? Shall we? Do you fancy doing a pick seven? Because you can do your pick seven on a journal page. I'm going to make a pocket. I've got some other pockets and I can decorate those and ATCs today. But you can um, use the prompts for later in the week or you can use the prompt shuffling them up. You can use it to make a journal page, tag, just to get you started for the week. But if you just want to sit back and do your own thing, because I think a lot of you, even on the playing card, a lot of you are doing slow stitching in the background. I know Sue is. and Yeah. The other, the other channel, if you go to my description box afterwards, who has been listening to, I'm looking at my notes because her channel is called Miss Linux, Linux, L-E-N-U-X. And I, I have, thank you, Joyce. Yes, lovely paper. And I was left with some bits and pieces. I've already made notebooks and journals for myself. Yes. It is lovely to share our bits and pieces with one another, isn't it? Mm. Giggle time. Oh, thanks, Joyce. Joyce is going to giggle at me because, of course, I am going to get confused and muddled. I'm getting better, actually, aren't I, Joyce? <laughs> oh, love it, love it. I love, I love that. Thanks, Jean. Yes, yes. The angel, later on, I can leave. When the video is processed, I will leave a link to the program where she found all the wallpaper um it, it could be it should well there should be one on um it should be because it was on television but it, there should be in um in on youtube shouldn't it i'm not i'm not looking at by the way as i'm picking them thank you you're keeping me on task you love my laugh becky Right, I think I've picked seven. So you can see that beautiful vintage wallpaper and how she pieced it together and made a patchwork on her wall and then took digital pictures. Yes, thank you. Miss Mary, hi. Hi, Mary. Come on in. Welcome. Nice to see you. Oh, there's some links coming in here. Thank you, Aunt Bex, and thank you, Janet. Before I start this, yes, please follow these links. I am recommended this, and then recommending Lena's latest project. And then Anne was talking about it on Saturday. And oh, yes, it was Mary. And Mary actually messaged me. And said, Jana, you need to watch this. So I thought, wow, if if you're telling me, Mary, I I need to, I really do. And I'm so you were so over the moon about it, weren't you, Mary? That you, yeah. And ah, so yesterday I had a delightful morning. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but just to say that it's. Uh, Lena is a beautiful artist and a beautiful storyteller, and she transports us to another world. But the amazing thing is, this world is to do with Fidsville, so it's people we know. 
So in the link below, there's the, the, her, her, the, it, the, her stories are called The Hop. So that's part one of the, the big hop. So, yes, I know, I know Mary. Um, yeah, I can't. I'd heard other people say it, And then when Mary messaged me and said, no, seriously, Jenna, you need to. Yeah, I, I can't recommend it highly enough. If you have time to watch something today, I recommend that. Mm. Mm. If you're feeling a little bit low or stressed as well, because it takes you out of yourself. What a storyteller. The illustrations. I When I was saying, and me, hello, dear, and me. Hi, you're in the background, and I love that. You're gently listening. That's lovely. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here with us. Oh, and me. I can imagine you there in the background. That's lovely. More links here. More links. I'm loving that. See if I pick seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold the phone. So I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Seven. Right. So let me see. What am I going to make? You need to get out whatever you want if you want to. Whatever you want to make. I'm just cutting out some more of these ATCs for me. Gail, I did mention you earlier. I wondered where you were. Gail, Anne, no stress, though. No, ev never any stress, though. Hello, Janet and everyone. You made it just back home from helping your son. Oh, I'm so glad you could join us. And there's our Japanese friend. Konnichiwa. Oh, and our Japanese Oh, our Japanese friend translates something every time. Oh, that's so lovely. So lovely. We we are such a worldwide community. I love that. Oh, that's so lovely. Pikio. Oh, so nice of you to come in and say hi again. So lovely. Now, just there was a little flurry of chat there. If I miss you, because I was waxing lyrical about lovely Lena's channel. Ooh, and then maybe next week we'll have a little chat about it as well. A little bit like book club. We can chat, can't we? Wouldn't that be lovely? Oh, you won't regret it. Oh, look, got a teapot. You didn't, yes, you didn't miss, you didn't miss snack time, but no cake today. How disappointing is that, Mary? Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> So I'm just making some, uh, this is just left over. This is my my veg box. Nothing, nothing's wasted. I just fold that over and then hopefully I haven't done it wrong like I did on the live. And then we'll get to making whatever you want to make. I'm going to make a pop of Happy Mail and an ATC today with the prompts. Okay. You've made a decision around the world. No one can serve as the head of state unless they are crafters. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Well, crafting and pets and art, storytelling, poetry, all the arts, they, they are all very good for our soul, aren't they? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Barbara says, 
<laughs> that was a good 15 minutes when you're cleaning. I tell you what, it's probably different than when you tell your husband you'll be 15 minutes in the craft shop. It's probably different. <laughs> Sorry, I bet you're all waiting. You're preparing your substrate, I'm sure. Or write them down, or just don't. Just let, just enjoy hanging out with one another. Gail Ann, all okay with your son? It, Mary says it helps us stay connected to the earth, the arts. Gosh, it really does. And nature and walking. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, definitely. So important. And if you've just come in um, and you haven't been with us from the start, today we have, I've got this little pretend candle flickering away here. And I've got a little rainbow here. Yeah, as with this, we're remembering our wonderful Laura. Because Laura's going off for her today and um, we just want to send her our love <laughs> and our prayers and have her on our heart whatever we do oh and Lair says yes and everyone should stop and have milk and cookies in the afternoon definitely definitely and the ritual of making tea mm. Mm. Taking time for ourselves, whatever the hobby is, even if it's like being a mechanic. Mm, yes, one of their vehicles is in bad shape. Oh, right. Yeah, and when you all oh, went to the garage, you had to take your oldest grandson to school. Yes, and then follow, follow your son and then bring you back. Oh, I do that as well, Gail. I'm so glad you're back with us and that you can spend some time with us now, Gail Ann. And we'll be seeing you. Yes. Jersey's, don't go by me, but I believe that Laura's surgery is today. Yes. Oh, Candy, your husband rides you places because he doesn't trust the people in the parking lots. Yeah, true. Oh. Mm. Oh, dear. Oh, but does he mind that if you're there for one and a half hours, though, Candy, while he's waiting? Does it put you under a little bit of pressure? Yeah. You prefer the faux candle? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, it's nice to, as it's flickering there, it's just going to remind you of our dear, our dear lovely Laura. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Oh. Oh. Arlene, hi. Oh, I do hope you're okay. Yes. Oh, you've made it over to the computer. And oh, I do hope you're healing little by little. And I know you've been very brave about it all. Mm. Anne says, does anyone remember the book, Everything I Ever Needed to Know and Learned in Kindergarten? So true, so true. Or well, one of the people in our chat sometimes or in the background, I used to be with this young lady and we used to craft together when she was young and I would craft together with her when she was at nursery. And now we have a craft group that meets once a month when it's not COVID. And we sit, we craft together now. It's lovely. Mm. Just like we did when she was in kindergarten. Yeah. There's our Teresa. Oh, Teresa. I was just showing everybody the wonderful, where is it? The wonderful fabric that you gave me. And I did my first bit of quilting. I love it. I've gone around the squares with the machine. It's all puffy. I love it. Absolutely. Over the moon with it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Gosh. <laughs> oh, dear. Boy, and I always say sharing is caring. Arlene says she thinks she has that book 
Um, hmm. Might be able to get it on um, on eBay. I'm a great one for eBay. Oh, Becky remembers that book. Full of good advice. What I ever needed to learn in kindergarten. Remind me of that one later. Right. I'll pick the first prompt and then we can keep chatting, but do it. Oh, right. This is a... Add a charm. Well, we will add a charm. Let's hold that one because we will add a charm. Remember that. The first prompt is add a charm. We probably won't do that at the start. Am I doing it wrong already, Joycey? Add a charm. I'll hold that. Is that okay with you, Joycey? <laughs> Let's get the next one. Oh, this is from, I remember doing these. This is from my Mrs. Gigi Positive Flowers. <laughs> oh, make a cluster. Oh, what a joy. So we're going to make a cluster to stick on our ATC or put in our journals or just make a cluster because we can. Oh, what fun. So here, wonderful. I have Happy Mail bits and pieces from Angela Strider. How wonderful. And I have washi tape from Mrs. Gigi. So I'm going to make a cluster with these lovely bits and pieces. <laughs> Aren't I lucky? Sherry, good morning. Ah. Oh. And washi. Gosh, how nice. The cluster can literally go on there. Oh, how lovely. I'm just going to start piling things up. I'm not going to think. That's a nice thing about a cluster. Don't think too much about it. All things I've saved. How lovely. Giggles. Joyce is giggling at me. Look, I'm doing my own thing already. It's just a case of what am I like? <laughs> oh, look. That would be great to add a dangle, and I might put something on that. Ooh, yes. Let me write. I, I'm going to start making my dangle because it is, I'm just writing cluster there, just so I don't get confused. It is National Autism Month, April. So I'm going to make this little puzzle piece. I'm going to put some, that is going to be my dangle. How wonderful. So I am doing my dangle. Loving that. That was from Angela too. So when you send people little snippets and bits and pieces, it just, it's just something different that they haven't got. Mm. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> I'm going back to prompt one and making my making my dangle while I can. A little jigsaw piece. I love making clusters, yes, because there's no right or wrong. Just get the pile and staple it or yes. Making fabric clusters like Gail is on her video if you want to go and watch that later. I'm just putting some book page behind this. And we might not finish. It's like I didn't finish my challenge at the challenge on Friday. I took on a little bit too much, didn't I? <laughs> But it's, as May says, this is just for fun. Just for fun. There you go. Sherry, nice to see you. Welcome. Ah. Oh, Sherry's got snow as well. Well, even in London, we had a little bit of snow. Can you believe that? More in the home counties. Yeah. Mm. I'll just put a little blue there. So number one was make dangles, and number two 
his clusters. So I was thinking originally I would. There we are. That's my jigsaw piece. I would be using metal. Metal. Uh, plus, um, I think when as soon as I saw the jigsaw piece, I think that's what I like about doing this is that you just don't know what's going to happen. I watched one of Nicole Relax Cut Glue, she was making one of her. pick five, pick five magazine pages. And she said, yeah, you just, when you start, you never know what you're going to end up with. That's what I like about it. Oh, oh, hi, Rebecca. You didn't take me in the shower today then. <laughs> oh, nice to see you. Happy Monday. Welcome to Monday, Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca's getting ready for, for her stream later. Nice to see you. Dear Rebecca, <laughs> oh, sorry I didn't get over much last week. Ah, oh. okay, she's home, so you're off to bed. Oh, the relief! Look at the oh, relief emoji. I'm so glad we could keep you company, Christina. I'm glad she's home, and I hope because you've been a bit stressed, I hope you get straight off to sleep. Oh, bye bye, dear Christina. Oh. with lots of light I've moved myself along because I realized it was uh, I was getting a little it is with lots of light I've moved myself along because I realized it was uh, I was getting a little bit dark the video the other day I've got a bold pin here so I'm going to pin that there and I've got myself waylaid, Joycey. I've gone back to number one when I said I was going to do number two. You do your own thing, people. I'm going to paint behind that, but that needs a little word. Good morning, Dorinda. Nice to see you. Oh, is, a, is all well with the family? I know that you have been so incredibly busy. Probably still are actually. Mm. So I've, I've put on my little jigsaw piece, I put calm. Now I will come in with some glitter and well, let's do that now. I'm going to put some glitter. So I have made a dangle. I didn't veer from what I should be doing. <laughs> I think the word should. We, we don't need that in our crafting world, do we? It's just for fun. Just. So I'm going to put some. I, why do I always put, come back to putting dots on things? Oh, I put a little bit of glitter on there as well. So that's car. So that's my I've made my dangle, and that will go on my ATC. And that's just a little nod to National Autism Month. Or oh, I think it's it's National Autism Week here, but I think in the states you have a whole month, April. So, oh, lovely hmm, clusters. Oh, I'm loving that with a butterfly. Oh, do you know, I love that. I'm going to staple it or sew it. I'm going to staple it. Thank you. I enjoy, I knew I would enjoy using all these bits and pieces. Lovely, I've made my cluster. This lovely washi, I don't think you can probably see it, from Mrs. Gigi. It's got cakes and bits and pieces on it. I would like to put some of that. 
on my ATC as well. But no, follow the prompts, Janet. That's what the prompts are for. What am I like? <laughs> right, so what's the next prompt? Let's fill this up. This says, use fabric. No. That's, oh, I've got two that say make. Oh, was that the, oh, Joyce, I'm getting in a model. Oh, no, I've got two that say make a, make a cluster. What? Let me pull another one out. Let me pull another one out, for goodness sake. Oh, I love this one. Add sunshine. Wow. So number three is add sunshine. Oh, wow. Add sunshine. Ooh, that is a fab, fab prompt. Wow. So I'm going to get this out here. Oh, wow. I like that. Add sunshine. Gosh, how lovely. That's a lovely prompt. Mm. Now, I suppose if you wanted, you could, you could. Um, this is just what's coming to my head. Um, you could get yellow paint, or just make it sunshiny and bright. I don't know why I'm, this came to my head. I'm liking the yellow at the moment, aren't I? How lovely. I'm wondering whether my cluster won't go on here. Whether my cluster will just go in the pocket. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'll put some words on it in a minute. How lovely. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous and bright. No, I don't know what made me think of doing this. Or you could um, find a sunshine, find a sunshine in a magazine as well. I think I did have um, sunshine. Oh, um, it, the cluster can be fabric or paper. I picked out one, Jean. And it was another, I'm, I started to read it out, and it was it was another cluster one because I put two in, in the basket. Silly me. So that, look, Jean, there's always confusion with me. Don't giggle at me, please, Joycey. <laughs> no, I don't mind. I don't mind. But you can add fabric. You could add some lovely yellow fabric for your sunshine. Oh, please do, if you've got it. For some reason, I just wanted to get this gorgeous Posca pen, my, my new yellow Posca pen, out. Oh, dear. It's me. I always get them in a muddle. So we've got a charm, cluster, paper or fabric, and add sunshine. Add a little bit of sunshine to our lives on a on a Monday morning. For those people that are in the snow today, oh dear, you need a bit of sunshine, don't you? Sherry and Barbara. Oh, you have to go like this. I know it's not running out because it's new. How lovely. Go like this. I know it's not running out because it's new. How lovely. Mm. It's very art deco sun. I don't know why I chose it, but there we are. I think one just tends to get genius when you do these things. It's a warm up exercise. It's a this is a warm up exercise for the week. A week of arting and crafting. And we're just warming ourselves up. And yeah, maybe next time I could do a 
There we are. Oh, lovely. Lovely sunshine. And let's add another colour. Have I got gold? That's what Mary would like. A little bit of gold. Have I? I think I've got a gold Posca pen. I love my Posca pens, <laughs> as you can see. Oh, I did. I know where to put that. I'll put it there. <laughs> One runs out of space. Oh, it's cold and dreary with you, Janet. So you need a bit of sunshine. You could use a yellow or any, any colour, any colour that you want. Just putting some gold in there. And we might be able to put some other things on here. This is quite stained glassy, isn't it? And I'm just going to colour this all in gold here. How lovely. See how handy these are. I've got all my napkins and bits of paper. April showers. Yes, preparing the garden. That's it. Oh, Candy says the fabric could be used in the cluster. Yes, I made one with paper, but equally so, yes, you can make like a, a fabric cluster like Gail was on her video. Right, so shall I give you another? Ew, lovely. Oh, we needed a bit of sunshine today then, didn't we? Fred never came back. He's probably looking out the front window. <laughs> right, let's get another one. Oh, make a mini envelope. Have we had that one before? Make a mini envelope. I think we might have done. Sometimes I, I put them away in the drawer here. So we get different ones. But uh, maybe we haven't. Let's make a mini envelope then. What fun. Make a mini envelope. How nice. I use one of my one of my these are what Jess Laura, our lovely Laura makes. Here we are. Lovely. I shall get these bits up that Angela gave me again because I need to keep those together because I like to remember that she sent me those. Oh, a heart. Oh, how lovely. I'll keep that out because I might want to make another cluster. Thank you, Angela. That was Add Sunshine. Right, so make a mini envelope. So... I usually make a mini envelope. So you get a rectangle and make a little square. It's great. If you've got a little mini hole punch, you can use that. Oh, Roy put the snow blower away. You don't want more snow then, do you, Roy? Because you want to start doing your gardening. I've already given my lawns, already had one cut, and it's it's growing up again. Hold it in half again. Ooh, and a little circle. Thank you, Angela. So, and then you fold it in to where the crease is. Fold it in again. to use your mini envelope. Jean hopes there's no more snow. I know. And then fold it up like that. And I can get my little, I like my little corner punch. I've had this for over 10 years. I used to do, when I used to do the scrapbooking. I love that. Look after that for me, Mo. And... There we are. Then we've just got a little envelope. Now, whether I want this to go on the front of my ATC or whether I just want it to 
that glue's not working now. I need to stick a pin down that. The sun's coming out for you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. It's nice to start the start the week off a little bit of sunshine, I think. <laughs> Mm. Your son is with you and had him plant a small vegetable garden. Oh, yes. And when he saw how you were able to make his favourite meal, eggplant. Ah, oh, aubergine, that's for us. Yeah, he was fascinated. I remember when Matt came here last year, I was, I'd been growing potatoes and Matt dug up the potatoes and then he cut them in washed them then we cut them into wedges and he made potato wedges he loved that they love to see things growing don't they especially if they live in a city and they're not used to it thank you joyce <laughs> is the envelope so little mini envelope and that's actually do you know how life works out i think maybe i might put that on the back of the atc let's just do that yes i'm gonna put it on the back because this is quite a nice sort of it looks quite by luck it looks quite art deco that pattern and I'd be putting some things in there, maybe later. Actually, I know what I want to put in there. I could make a mini cluster to go in there. My cluster's a bit big there, but I'm going to make a mini cluster. I'm going to give you some more prompts because the time is getting on. Washi, I love that prompt. I love that. Should we always keep it in? Because I love washi. Your homemade washi, or yeah, or, or painty paper washi. How lovely! Gosh, I don't know what to add to that. What washi have I got? I've got yellow. I've got, oh, oh! I've got the washi my sister-in-law gave me. It's got crochet. <laughs> Oh dear, add washi. Ah, oh, how wonderful. There we are. Snip, snip. I'm not rushing you. It's just because I'm going to go. You can sit these prompts for as long as you like. Ooh, Jean. Now it's our fabric. Lovely. So there is add fabric. Mm, lovely. That's number six, add fabric. I'm sorry if I'm rushing you. We can, we've got the day to spend with these. Oh, look at that. It's got the, ooh, it's got sunshine and showers. And of course, we can always add words. Uh, Mrs. Gigi, who isn't with us today, I do hope all is well. For our lovely Mrs. Gigi. She always says we can add words, so I shall find some April showery words to go on here. So, yes, add fabric. Mm. So, what have I got? I shall get my slow stitch kit out. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning. So nice to see you. I, I, I would imagine. You've got some snow where you are today. Oh, I've got this lovely, lovely fabric ribbon here. That's lovely. What else have I got? Ooh, it's lovely. Oh, oh I've got yellow. No, I think I'm going to go for the ribbon. Mm, lovely. <laughs> Oh, yes. I love all that. Yes. We've only got a tiny garden, but we've got a couple of little veg patches and we like to grow. We like to grow things. Just a few. I've never grown eggplants. We call them aubergines. Candy, aubergines. <laughs> it's like the it's like the video we were watching. It's 
כאן די. I'm going to sew this on, this flower. It's only cardboard, so I can sew it through. This is my fabric. Oh, no snow for you, Ruth. It's beautiful blue skies. Oh, fab, fab. Hmm. I love to make dinners out of that candy and uh, with um, mozzarella cheese. Yummy, yummy. Mm. There we are. Now that's my little piece of fabric. Now, don't let me rush you. You take as long as you want. I'm just making that lovely. So, there it is so far, and I will have words. And the last prompt, I haven't got too muddled, have I, Joycey? Are you proud of me, Joycey? <laughs> the last one is, oh, that's a funny one. It says, we've got an envelope, and it says, add a belly band. Well, we've got an, well, that's fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, if you're making a journal page, all well and good, but this is going to be quite a loaded uh, ATC. How wonderful. Hmm. I'm going to use that, that, that that was on the back so we can put a little something, a little cluster in the back, in the envelope, and then we can add something in the belly band as well. How wonderful. That's worked out well. You just never know, do you? Ooh, prompt four. I think, shall I read them out? Because I've written them down. Um, it was at a charm. So where's my little charm? I made it, didn't I? Now I've lost it. Well, here it is. Had a charm. Had a cluster. Add sunshine. Add an envelope, number four. Number five is add washi. Number six is add fabric. And number seven is add belly band. I'm going to put my little charm on here. So this has got quite a lot going for it, this little ATC. It's like a little, a little mini journal. And it's, so it's going to have that on it. It's going to have its little, it's going to have its little sunshine and its little, what do we, what do we call those? A charm. So it's like we're throwing the kitchen sink at this one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, rocket, and I've never grown rocket, I've grown spinach. Oh, and peppers. Wow, wonderful. Here's my belly band. It's going to go here. Oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm going to put the green because the green is going to be gorgeous. It's a very busy ATC. What a busy little ATC that is. <laughs> I've just... Put some of that glue there because Fabri-Tac isn't working, of course. There's a belly band. And I think I need to put one of my signature hearts in the belly band. I've got them all pre-cut here. I love and they're gonna put some words. There's a there's a little heart. I love to have I love to add the hearts to my ah okay. Do I need a bigger one? Oh, I think could I get away with a bigger one? Yes, I think I could. Needs to be bigger, Jenna. Right, let's Oh, do you know the green one is nice? Just cut from a magazine. I will stick that on card. I love that because the the showers 
and sunshine are going to bring forth. I'm loving that. And I'll put some words on it as well. Oh, okay. Oh, the deer ate of your broccoli. Oh, no. Oh, oh your, your favourite is green. Oh, oh you're talking about green peppers. So we've got, we're gonna, I'm going to add some words, but they've got a nice little heart there. And I will have to decorate this. So we've got, we're gonna, I'm going to add some words, but they've got a nice little heart there. And I will have to decorate this. I've got an envelope to put some little bits and pieces in for people. So it is time for me to say goodbye. But first, before I do, I would like if you could put numbers in, please, between one and a hundred. And I would like to send out my flowish journaly, for want of a better word, because I can't remember what it was called now, from Shelley's idea from the hop. Just, it's not very heavy, it's just a few papers, but I'll say go, go. <laughs> oh, thank you, Barbara. <laughs> That's so kind of you. <laughs> So let's put some stamps in this envelope. Oh, wow. Look at this. A lovely rainbowy stamp. Oh, look, wonderful. You're putting in numbers. And we will be going over to Rebecca's soon. I wish I could put my cluster in the, in the envelope, but I can't. So that will have to go in the pocket. Um, we're going over to Rebecca's and then we will have our wonderful Lizzie. If all's well with Lizzie, we're going to have we're going to go and do some slow stitching with lovely Gail Anne and Lizzie. There. There we are. So that's my prompts from this morning. And I'm going to add some words. I'm going to sit here and listen to Rebecca. I'm going to phone my mum and dad, actually. And where's my words? Do I need to say stop? Oh. Where's my words? Do I need to say stop? Oh. Hi, I said, look, because some you on Saturday. I'm thinking about you. Mm. Mm. It's early for Lizzie yet, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yes, girl, Anne, we need to find our dads, don't we? Mm. Oh, we called while you were gone. Yeah. We'll phone our dads, so the girl. Yeah. <laughs> See how they are. I phoned in this morning, but have another little chat this afternoon. <laughs> Peggy, there's Peggy. You're working today, just popping in to say hi. Peggy's got her latest is her spring, her spring things on Instagram. So you you'll be entertaining us with spring flowers and growing things. Oh, Jen is putting in 41 for Aunt Bex. Oh, lovely. I will need your help um, to, to say who's got the numbers. So I'm going to random number generator. Number, right, okay, between one and a hundred, press, oh. No, press and it's taken me to no, okay. Oh, it's taken me somewhere else. I can usually do it. Oh, Joyce, what's going wrong? Search. Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it again. No. Oh, wait, I can usually do it. Don't worry, if I can't do it, I'll just ask someone else to do it for me. Okay, generate a number. I need to press generate. What am I like? 
January 27. 27. Who was on or nearest just under? There's Donna. You came in with a number, Donna. Doesn't matter if it's on or after when I say. Lovely. And you've been popping numbers in. And, mm. Mm. Huge hello to you, Peggy. Mm. So who was nearest or on? Would you be able to help me? Nearest to number 27. Because, oh, I can see Gail T had 26. That's pretty on the nose, isn't it? Has anybody got 27? Or that's pretty on the nose, isn't it? Has anybody got 27? Or um, so when the video processes, I'll, I'll, there will be a link so you can see where this wallpaper was discovered. This is just a copy of it, obviously. I'll pop that in the post, Gail, tomorrow. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Janet, for confirming it for me. Thank you. So we don't get it wrong. Well, you will leave me here with my little box of hearts. And I'm going to find some lovely words to put on. We never know what our, what they're going to be like. But I'm I'm actually, I'm going to send this to Laura. So I will be putting a rainbow on it. I'm going to send it to our lovely Laura today. And, and we'll be thinking of her. And it was lovely to see our lovely Arlene in the chat as well. Oh, so, mm. no, thank you. I know, let's call Freddie. Freddie, Freddie, Freddie. She's bribing. <laughs> Hold on, come down and say goodbye to everybody, darling. Freddie, stop bribing to come and say goodbye to everybody. You want to see him, don't you? Oh, Thank you. It has been fun. It has been fun. I love to start my weeks with you. And I love, I love to be with you in chat. And then in the face, um, it's not part of the routine. That's why he's not coming. Oh, he's not going to come. <laughs> oh, everybody. And thank you. Oh, no, here he comes. Oh, he's just sauntering along. Oh, don't rush, Prince Freddy. Ooh. Oh, thanks, Becky. She wants another little one. He's such a creature of routine. I just give you a tiny bit. Would you like a tiny little come and say goodbye to everybody, darling? Take a seat. And do you want to? A little shake for everybody. And when it's a little, I know, he doesn't have to take that away. <laughs> oh. So you <laughs> and I'll see you in the chats. I'll see you over at Rebecca's. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> We've enjoyed. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, get off, Mum. <laughs>